season here in the AABA. First game was a thriller between the Armands and Academy USA. Academy fighting for their playoff lives, but came up just short. And now, Pat, we have another team fighting for their playoff lives, and hurrah's done. Absolutely, Zando. Last game was a thriller. I expect the same thing from here. Hurrah's done. They need this W. It's that simple. You don't, you don't want to worry about the point differentials, all that stuff. All you want to care about is winning the game and let the rest take care of itself. Razdan coming off a tough loss to the Armands last week. That was a championship rematch, and now they got to find something to get them into the playoffs. And if JT Terrell plays like how he did last week, he set 40 points in that game. Pat, he was scoring any way he wanted to, inside, outside, backwards, upside down. He was doing it all. JT Terrell is one of the more proficient scorers we have in this league. If you're Aragots, you want to contain those easy points. You don't want to give Haraz on anything easy. And that comes with disciplined defense. But Aragad's a little short today. They only have five players, so maintaining their energy is key. Aragad's going to need to rely on their speed, but they can't get going too fast. They might tire themselves out. Aragad starts with the ball. It's Jair Winfrey coming off a 15 point and 17 rebound performance. And he taps one in right away. Jair Winfrey, a late pickup for our guys, but he's been so proficient for them. Exactly what they needed. Big man that can rebound, and more importantly, he's got a great attitude, Zando. Great attitude, and I'll tell you what, he can leap out of the gym, and there's Big Z getting things kicked off for her done. That is far too easy for Zara Vidian. If you want to play defense on him, you have to force the drive and have help recover. Pat, how long have we seen Big Z doing just that, launching it from outside? Winfrey draws a foul, he'll go to the free throw line. Big Z is one of the smartest players I've seen in Zando. He's, all these years, like you said, he's been, he's found a way to be efficient in the games he's played. Pat, for Arag, that's a team that is eliminated from the playoffs, but what do you think they have to do to stay focused? Maybe play a little bit of the spoiler today. There is plenty of potential moving forward, Zando. Obviously, in this league, they had their struggles in the beginning, but there is a bright future. That the team is very young. They're friends with each other, and they play hard together. So I'm really excited to see what they can do for next season. Tyronis matched up with JT Terrell. Winfrey made both free throws. Terrell... Off on his jumper. Kudatian rebound, can't finish. Taiwan Kudatian Zando, one of the players I've always hated going up against because he is so fast. He's such a feisty player. And I know for this team, he's been such a great plus for them. We were both talking with him before the game. He was saying he cramped up last week as he's on the breakaway and gets the quick two. We were saying, he was saying he cramped up, and you were like, oh, he went from 100 miles per hour to 90 miles per hour. He's easily one of the fastest players I've ever played against, Zando. I've played against a lot of players, but he's he's so quick. And another great thing about Kudatian as Kshishin's off. Winfrey rebound and flicks it in. All six points for Tyre Winfrey early on. Zara not putting a body. You know, Haraz down in general, nobody's putting a body on Winfrey. That's going to come back and hurt them. And up top, Avedian can't hit the second triple. Other way, Aragots playing at a slower pace, conscious of they don't got subs. Kshishin can't hit. Other way, Kudatian. There's Terrell with the follow up. That looked like the ball was on the cylinder, but that is European rules, and the ball's on cylinder, you can still tip it back in there. It's and not goaltending. Great goal Terrell having the awareness that he can't do that. Corner, Kardosh. Off. And Terrell right into the face of Terronis. Can't finish. Kardosh finds Kalejian. Kalejian pulls up. Kalejian hits a triple. Nice shot by Sean Kilijian. He's been working on that, Zando. When he first started in the AABA, he wasn't able to hit that Euro range. Now he can consistently make that shot. You gotta love the confidence pulling up on the fast break. Blocked by Kardosh. Kishishian finds Taronis, and Taronis with the finish. What a find by Greg Kishishian. The guy who loves to sell for that shot, but 
by that time he created for Daniel Taronis. And it seems like this Aragaz team has just been so much more under control these past two weeks. Because they're playing with nothing to lose, Ando. They're, they're just playing as a team. They're playing together. What more do you want? And you know, maybe if they show this earlier in the season, they would be in contention for a playoff spot right now. Uh, it comes with the territory of having being a younger team. You, you don't learn your you learn the lesson the hard way. You know what I mean? There's Z hitting from mid range. Early on, Avedian with five points. If you're Aragaz, you want to take it with that shot, force him to put the ball down. And Collegian hits back iron. Terrell tr tracks it down. Well, out of bounds goes to Aragots. That was a good hustle by Terrell, but nobody there to get the ball to. Peraza never fully controlled possession, so shot clock to 14 instead of a fresh 24. Kashishian can hit. He's been struggling from deep this whole season. Only two for nine last game from behind the arc. Kashishian needs to find a way to get some easy layups right now. Having those threes is... Those aren't easy shots, even for him. And Winfrey with the end one. Jair Winfrey, eight points already for Aragots. What a start from Jair Winfrey. He's being aggressive, taking it to the rim. There's no help for Big Z inside. And they're rewarding him. He's just so aggressive. Just puts his head down, goes right at any defender in front of him. Converts the end one and make that nine points already for Mr. Jair Winfrey. And Big Z the other way gets the bucket. Poor defense by Aragots. You have to get back. You have to have at least one help in there. Inside Kardosh faces. I'm not sure if I like that shot selection by Anthony Kardosh. You have the size advantage on Samson. You have to take it inside. Sam's going to let him shoot that any day. And I don't blame him. Collegian right into Pelosi and doesn't finish. Offensive rebound for Aragas. 15 on the shot clock. Inside Winfrey, easy two. That was a nice extra pass by Anthony Cardo. His teammates wanted him to shoot that, but smarter. Got a nice, easy bucket inside. Other way. Peraz done with it. Terrell thinks about it, drives. Terronis covers. Good Fell defense off. by Terronis. Staying right in front of him. If you're Terrell... I'm not sure if I will sell for that shot. Maybe take it to the basket once in a while. Legion pulls up. No good. Other way, Fudatian finds it inside. Left hand finishes. Fudatian is so good at leaking out and finding the right spot. You literally have to designate a guy to just cover him. It's like football. You have to designate a corner. You know, it's one of those that every time the shot is up, one of your players got to run past half court, and there's Kutatian again. Early timeout by Aragat. 15-16. They find themselves up, but Harazdan coming back strong. We'll be right back. Sixteen game, Haraz done down in a must-win situation, and they're down to the one man on Aragots' team, Jair Winfrey. Eleven points already, three rebounds, two of them coming on the offensive glass. Pat, he's just been doing so much for them early on. 
He is so crucial for them, Zendo. He's, he's a piece that they were sorely missing. Someone who is willing to sacrifice, someone who's willing to play hard inside. You have plenty of guard, but young, but they're talented. And now Winfrey with Injigulian on him. Double team goes his way. Collegian already with a three pointer. Gotta be ready to shoot that if you're Collegian. Three on the shot clock. Gets Terrell in the air. Off on the mid range. Collegian not happy about that. Says he thought it was a foul. Other way, Terrell quick pull up. Shishian pulls it down, brings it the other way for Aragats. Off to the races. Taronish tried cutting. And there's Terrell. Terrell and Hudatian on the break, off the backboard. Uh, Can't execute. I'm not sure what that was over there. And the other way, Aragats shows him how to execute the alley oop. Winfrey with the jam. What a performance from Jair Winfrey. But more importantly, these guards are understanding that he's cutting, he's moving. They're rewarding him for his effort. And that was just textbook on the other way. Shishin keeps his eyes up and finds Winfrey. Big Z doesn't hit. Winfrey got lucky there. Avidian rarely misses those. Collegian by Brosian. And Greg Shishin along too. That's tough, man. That's not an easy shot. And the guy's right there up in his grill. Terrell the other way. Can't answer. Terrell quiet so far. Xander, I'll be very honest. I'm not sure I'm liking his shot selections. It's a little poor off time. Try to get your guys involved. You have plenty of talent on your team. High ball screen by Cardos for Kishishian. Kishishian still off from three point range. Winfrey gets his own rebound. Oh, he nice defense. And other way, Hirazdan, three on two fast break. Corner, JT Terrell. Corner, the end line creeps up on him. He's out of bounds. One of Samson's greatest strengths, but it's also his greatest weakness. He tries to get his guys involved. He had a wide open layup, Zando. I'm not, I don't know why he gave that up. Sometimes being unselfish comes back to cost him. Hirazdan with a turnover. Aragon has a chance to extend their five point lead. Kashishian floater in and out, and there's Kardosh cleaning it up. Aragon just out rebounding Haraz on the other side, and Haraz on the other end, just again taking tough shots. They're not making it easy on themselves, Zando. And you would think it's Aragas playing for a chance to make the playoffs, not Hurazdan the way that Hurazdan's been so complacent. It's all about pride, Zando. They're well coached. They're, they're just they're a complete they're a well coached team. They play for each other. Right now, Hurazdan, I'm not seeing that same camaraderie that we've seen in their championship runs. You know, if you were to tell me that at the beginning of the season, the two-time defending champions would need a win on the last day of the season to make the playoffs, I wouldn't believe you. Wolsey pleading for some chatter on the defensive end. Winfrey doesn't get the bounce. Other way, Hurazdan. Hudatian bringing it up. He's got Terrell in the corner, takes it himself, and finishes right through Taronis. Hudatian now with se with eight points early on. Kilejian shakes Hudatian and what gets a it move. to go. What a move by Kil uh, Kilejian. Terrell draws a foul the other way. Toronto's had the right idea. He went for the ball, but last second got his arm. Easy call for the ref. One minute to go in this first quarter of action. Hurazdan down seven. Terrell. Chance to cut it to five at the free throw line. Good on the first. And Pat, I'm kind of feeling bad for your dad on the bench. He looks a little lonely all by himself. <laughs> uh, I, <laughs> very unfortunate, you know, not being able to get more players. Obviously, there are different priorities and obligations these guys have to fulfill but you know sometimes a little easier doesn't have to worry about subbing anyone necessarily 
I'll tell you what, he's not subbing out Greg with no bench, and Greg finally hits a three. Other way now, Zatikian spins off. What right, a save. Good Winfrey up, can't finish. Peraza with the chance for a two for one if they score quick enough. And there's Kudati and getting it done. Looks like ball is not inbounded in time. Aragas with the chance for the last shot of the quarter. Tevon Kudati single-handedly keeping this team in the game along with Big Z's points, excuse me. If you're Aragas, you gotta find a way to take it away, those easy guard points. And now a chance for Kudatian to score one more time. Gets himself 12 points to end the quarter. Kashishian full court, he no good. Aragots up five at the end of the quarter, but Hurazdan fighting, keeping themselves alive. After one, coach, you find yourself up five. What's led to that early lead? Well, activity. The guys are really playing hard and sharing the ball. And the other team being lazy. <laughs> coach, Tevon has leaked out about four or five times and already gotten some easy layups. How are you going to try to limit that? Well, we talked about it in our last time out, uh, limit that. So basically, we need to rotate properly when, you know, his man is taking a shot here. He's leaking out. Somebody else has to be on a help position. And we're working on that. Thank you, Coach. Second quarter about to start. Thank you. Easy enough. Aragots ball to start this second quarter and right back to the man that's led to this early lead, Jairo Winfrey. Gets two Hurazdan defenders in the air and finishes through contact. Jair Winfrey just doing anything he wants, Zando. Hurazdan cannot find a way to contain him. They send the help, but Jair too smart. He's finding these open guys. Winfrey being absolutely dominant in this game. Hurazdan, no answer for him so far. Lead now up to eight for Aragots. Perel, quiet first quarter, only three points. And Winfrey with the steal now. He's off to the races, he's got Collegian. Double team goes his way, finds Kashishian. Peronis to Kardosh. Kardosh right through Hudatian. You know, Zando, I would never have thought I would have said Aragots' size is bugging the other team. <laughs> Usually it's been the other way around. Usually they're the vertically challenged ones, but today they're using their size, their length, their athleticism, and everything is going their way. And Hurazdan burns a timeout. Coach Ara Jajayan getting the troops in. Aragots up to their biggest lead of the game at 10. We'll be right back. My Detroit players, Tim's for my hula game, Tim Brooke, Blair, Blair. Oh, damn. Oh, 
Gods ball up 10. Nine minutes and 12 seconds to go in the first half. Pat, we were talking about it during that break. We love what we're seeing from Jair Winfrey. Zando, he's a team player. He understands they're going to have to execute, but knows when his opportunity is there. And there's Cardo finishing with the right hand. Aragots playing with nothing to lose, and you could tell that they're just playing and having fun right now. Oh, no doubt about it. They're just having a good time, but they're being they're very competitive. I know these guys. They want to win. It doesn't matter if they're last or first place. They're going to fight to the end. Now, this is where you need to be careful. You have five players. You got to be careful with these fouls. Anthony Cardo should already pick him too. He's been really crucial for them. You want to be careful. And Terrell, his second trip to the free throw line, first one he split and he misses another one. Very uncharacteristic for the former Trojan. Yeah, Zano, JT Terrell is struggling a little bit here. He's not really getting into his strive. Hopefully that can change. Terrell now two for four on the, on the day at the free throw line. 11 point lead for Aragots. Kalejin, Kalejin Hudatin, what a matchup. And the other guard matchup, Bolosian and Kashishian. Bolosian getting low into his stance. And free. Through Long Korean, another basket and the foul. What a take. Jair Renfree working on Long Korean. Too big for him. Easy bucket. You know, I've been doing this the past couple weeks, uh, the, the scouting report, the what you're supposed to do if you're Aragots, get the ball to Winfrey and just let him go to work. Aragots has smart guards. They're young, but they are smart guards, Zando. Guys like Shant and Greg, they know when to give it up. They know when someone's doing well. Let them work. Terrell, quick trigger, can't hit again. Hudatin with the board. That one looked like it might have been a foul. He's yelling about it. Anthony Cardos got lucky there. Looked like he got body on Kudadian, but they're letting him play. And one thing about Kudadian, he's such a good rebounder from the guard position. Had 10 rebounds last game. He works so hard. Kashishian the other way, doesn't hit. Winfrey just going straight up. That's all verticality. Terrell pulls down the rebound. Other way, Kudadian finds him. And Terrell with the left hand finger roll layup. Hrazdan gets their easy points off their defense, Zando. That's what they're known for. That's how they've been successful. When they get their stops, they get easy transition points. What a pretty move by Kalejian for the three-pointer. Kalejian just so patient. He's come a long way with his game, Zando. You know, I remember watching him back at Hoover High School. He does so much. He's such a fearless player. He doesn't care who his matchup is. He's going to go at you all game long, and he has it again. Collegian. 14 on the shot clock, finds Winfrey. Why not let it fly? Jair Winfrey continuing his scoring onslaught. What a performance. He's doing everything for them. Pat, he already has 25 points in this game. JT Terrell with the answer the other way, and Aragots up 14. He's coming close to outscoring Hrazdan by himself, Zando. Goes up, draws a foul, Winfrey. Just putting on a show here at Academy USA. Just too big and too strong, Zando. Longoria is having a lot of difficulty inside against him. And Pat, let's just talk about Jair Winfrey again, as we've been doing all game. Five of five for the free throw line. He's got eight rebounds already, four on the offensive glass. What hasn't this guy done? Zando, the one thing I just want to talk about, despite his performance, what a good person he is. I had the opportunity to meet with him and talk to him before he joined Aragots. He is all about the team. He said he doesn't care if he scores zero points, whatever it takes to win, that's what he cares about, and encouraging his teammates. He understands that this is a young team, and he wants to help bring some experience. And that's exactly what he's done. Winfrey, the man out of Bethesda College, he's been the whole, he's been the story of this game so far. Terrell pulls up. Terrell can't hit. Still cold from the field. Kashishian leading the break for Aragots. Kalejian already two threes. Make it three. 
Araga just putting on a performance. But Araga's again, Xander, we've seen Lees be lost before. You have to maintain this. Terrell right into Kardosh. Can't do it third time around. It's Zatikian with the finish. And you know what, Pat? Aragos is putting on an exhibition, a clinic maybe, of how to play team style basketball. That starts from coaching. It doesn't matter how many players you have. You're going to use all your players to the best of their abilities. And there's Kishishin with a little bit of an erratic shot. Other way, Hudati and leaks out and finishes again on the break. That he's going to be doing that all game. And Aragaz has to understand that's his bread and butter, playing defense and then leaking out on transition. And you have to get back. And you know, something to point out, you don't have to just get a rebound or a steal to get out on transition. You can get out on transition off a made basket. Kishishin can't follow up. Udatian with it again, already 16 points. And Jagulian finds Terrell. Terrell still can't hit from deep. And he's visibly frustrated himself, Zando. I don't blame him. Went free to Kashishian. Kashishian waits for the defender. Cardo, she pulls up. Doesn't hit. Rebound Hudatian. He's doing a great job on the glass. Already six rebounds. And Terrell finishes inside. We have game on JT Torell. Hurazdan being worn. Next one is a technical foul. You're JT Torell. You can't afford those kind of mistakes, Zando. You just have to get back and play. You just scored a basket. You're getting your energy up. It just seems like Hurazdan can't get themselves into some sort of flow. Can't go on any sort of run. Winfrey drives baseline. Stays in bounds. Five on the shot clock. Kashishian. Draws a foul and he gets bailed out right there. Not a good decision making by Zadikian there. Five seconds left on the clock. That's a careless foul. Just have to play him straight up. Lake Kishishin hit a tough shot on you. 12 on the shot clock for Kalejin. Drives Blow. inside, finds Kashishin. Close out late by Zadikian but didn't pay it. Didn't harm Hrazdan other way. Hudatin right at the cup. Basket and the foul. Kudatin single-handedly keeping his team in this game. Zando, 16 points, six rebounds. Just pushing the ball every chance he gets. Taking advantage of Argos having only five players. And you know, we were talking about Winfrey and how good of a person he is off the court. Hudatin in that same boat. Guy goes to UCLA. Doing everything he can to get his degree, wants to be a doctor, and he's doing so well in this league. This is, he, he's what you call a gentleman, a hooper, and a scholar. Uh, that's a lot. That takes all discipline, Zando. Discipline and passion for the game. Karazdan back within single digits. Big Z back in the game. He came in for Zadikian. It was a good like idea by Kilijian, but good hands by Hrazdan. Ball went off Longuri in baseline, out of bounds for Aragas. Into Kilijian, Kilijian. Up top, Winfrey driving. Good job by Kudatin to dis or get him out of rhythm. Rebound to Hrazdan. And JT Terrell, acrobatic finish like his Cirque du Soleil. Hrazdan still fighting, Xandos. Only a seven point game. No leads ever safe in this league. And Hrazdan has done a good job not getting mad at each other, not breaking apart, staying together, staying the course. And now Terrell loses the ball. Big Z wide open, drives. Left hand, gets it to go. You're Anthony Cardos, you had a chance to take that charge. That's a good, strong move by Avidian. Pat, this lead was at 16 at one point, now down to just five. You were talking about it, this Aragas team, young. They've blown leads before and looks like they're about to blow another one. They're taking quick shots, Zando, and Hrazdan's making them pay. And it just seems like they've gotten away from getting the ball to Winfrey. There's Hudatin again. You're absolutely right there. Just forcing a lot of shots, taking 
taking poor quality sh shots. You need to execute. 2.34 to go in the first half. Peraz not coming back, roaring down only three. We'll be right back after this commercial break. I mean, what's important for this upcoming season is just Gary being consistent and getting a chance to show what he can do and be on the court and all this hard work to pay off from where he started last year and kind of just keep evolving to where it's going. Um, as I, you know, as we talk about G, it's about getting 1% better every day. I think that's what we need to just focus on. Yeah, no, absolutely. Last year was an eye-opening experience working out for five teams. So you, you know, your hard work is what got you those opportunities. And I, and I always said, I'll get you, I'll open the door for you, but you just got to do your part. You know? <laughs> no, that's true. He, he, it's funny because he told me that when I signed with him, he's like, look, he's like, I'm gonna get you in front of these doors. I'm gonna get you in front of NBA doors, no doubt. But once you walk into those gym, once you walk into that gym, it, you gotta, you gotta perform. I can't perform for you. Two thirty-four left in the first half. Hurazdan in a must-win situation to make it to the playoffs and defend their crown. They were down by 16, now down by just three. And Pat, I think there's one guy we could give this comeback a testament to, Tevon Hudatian. 21 points, eight rebounds, two steals. Tevon is doing everything for their team. Hurazdan seemed a little slow in the beginning, but he is pushing the tempo. That's where they've been so good in. And doing it, Get your phones out. Here comes the show. JT Terrell with a dunk. Down by just one now. And we were talking about Tevon, how he's doing so much. And he's doing it so efficiently too. 10 of 14. He's taking good quality shots. All those points have been in the paint, Zando. He hasn't forced one bad shot yet. Avedian on Winfrey. Just blows right by around him. him. And Winfrey's going to go back to the free throw line. Jair Winfrey just working on anybody who goes by, goes on him, Zando. If it's Longorian, he's taking him inside. If it's Big Z, he's beating him off the dribble. But you have to have that help there. You can't have easy layups. It looked like Injigulian was set up for a charge. Just He was fouled before he went up, so no contact to him. Winfrey good on the first. And finally, the ball getting back in his hands. Yeah, they seem to have gone away from him in the beginning, or at least in the beginning of the second quarter but now they're trying to get back into the stride. You know, for Hrazdan, a great, great way to end the half. Now only down three, and some morale, something good going. You know, your best player, JT Terrell, isn't so hot from the field, but you know, Tevon Hudatin picking him up. There's Terrell finally hitting a jumper. And Daniel Torrance is a good defender. That's not an easy shot. Winfrey now with it, pulls up. Winfrey can't hit, rebound Kudati and working on a double-double. And Big Z driving. Blocked by Kardosh, Kalejian on the break, Longurian back. He's gonna try to lob it, I think. Decides to take it himself, out of bounds, stays with Aragots. And you know, Pat, I'm surprised he didn't try to throw it maybe off the backboard or just lob it up to Winfrey, because Winfrey could jump up there with the best of them. I think he knew that defense was gonna was going to go towards Winfrey, and he wanted to have that layup for himself. But Longorian, good good defense at that point. Ball into Tyrone is under a minute and a half left in this first half. Kashishian good on his three. Much in the bucket for Aragots. Makes it a two-possession game yet again. Udatian bringing it up. Big Z in the corner. Finds Longurian, Longurian easy deuce. And finally, Hurazdan on a run, finding a flow on the offense, and it comes at a perfect time right at the end of the first half. Kishishin gets it to Kardosh, Kardosh way off. And the other way, Longurian. Four straight points for Longurian, and he ties up the ball game. Again, Zando. Not having only five guys, not everybody's running back the way they should. Giving Hurrahs on easy layups. And you know what, sometimes you gotta live with it if your Aragots can't maybe take a foul. Injigulian was moving the whole way. No charge call, Kardosh with the bucket. 
Samson wondering why there wasn't a foul, but he's moving his feet. They are not going to give him that call. And he's still talking. You have to get back and keep playing. And a technical foul now issued to Injigulian. That'll be a $50 fine and two free throws for Aragas. Injigulian looked at the commissioner, Surin Arzamani, saying, come on, that was a charge. Refs not taking back that call or that technical in Kaleji with the chance to extend Aragats' lead. I understand your competitiveness as a player, but you need to keep your composure. It's still a long game, a lot of time going on. Legend, good on both free throws, four point Aragats lead. Samson still talking, not happy about that. Hudatin has the ball, four seconds on the clock. Big Z drives, steps back. Got it off in time, but can't get it to go. And Pat, we were just talking about how Hurazdan had found some sort of flow, and now it seems like things are going the opposite direction after that technical foul. Aragats up by four. They were up by as much as 16 at one point. Going into the halftime break, Hurazdan going to need to talk some things over, get JT Terrell going, and we'll be right back. That's true. He, he, it's funny because he told me that when I signed with him, he's like, look, he's like, I'm going to get you in front of these doors. I'm going to get you in front of NBA doors, no doubt. But once you walk into those gym, once you walk into that gym, it, you got to you got to perform. I can't perform for you.
Raw's done. They're down four. Aragaz has been playing great. And Pat coming out in the second half. We gotta give the sniper scouting report. Who do you have for Aragaz? That's been the difference maker. It's, it's simple. Jair Winfrey. He's been doing everything for them, Zando. He's guarding Big Z. He's playing de playing defense, rebounding, scoring, having a great game leading 27 points. But on the other end for Razdan, Tevon Kudadi is just putting on an absolute show, doing everything he can to keep their team involved. Pretty move by Kaleji, and Kaleji has just been dancing on every defender in his face today. Like we talked about Zando, he's Im improved so much. He's really become an a leader, a true point guard in this league. And Borossi in great find, then Dragulian, who got a tech at the end of the first half. Gets his first basket. If you're a collegian, you gotta have more discipline. You gotta pick up your man. Don't let them just go by you like that. That was a great find. Kashishian finds Taronis. Back to collegian, him and Hudatian going at it all game. Now it's Terrell who takes his turn on him. He steps back and he hits again. Sean collegian is feeling it. What a move by collegian. Over a good defender like JT Terrell. Terrell can't answer on the other end. Collegian 17 points already. You know, he came up to me a couple weeks ago. He's like, man, you give Derek too much love. You got to start showing me some love. Giving him all the love I can right now. And I don't know who tipped that in, but Terronis is going to get the two points on the stat book. I saw Terronis get a hand on that one. Xandar, I just got to give credit to Terronis. He's such a... He's a great role player for this team. He's, he's a grinder down low. He knows exactly what he needs to do, and he's doing it on the dot. And you know, Pat, at the blink of an eye, Aura got back up by double figures. Hudatian thought about it. They're daring him to shoot that one. And Big Z driving, can't finish. Second attempt, no good. Big Z frustrated with himself. He thought he should have made that. Collegian driving baseline, finds Taronis. Taronis in and out. Samson finds JT Terrell. And Terrell finally hits from deep. You notice he put a little more arc in that shot. A nice, beauty, beautiful shot. Terrell has been really struggling today, coming off that 40 point performance last week. Finally finding the range. Collegian, he's definitely found the range today. And now it's Winfrey, six on the shot clock, Winfrey. Backing down Terrell, Taronis beats the shot clock but can't hit. Bolosi in full court pass. Hudatian finds Terrell and Terrell slices through the lane for the bucket. That was a great find by Hudatian. And you know what Pat, it's back to what I said. Blink of an eye, 5-0 run for Hrazdan. 
Pardosh. Turnaround jumper, no good. A little sloppy there from Kardosh. And Pat, it seems like Hrazdan wants Kardosh to shoot it every time he touches the ball. Terrell can't hit. Kardosh isn't known for being a great jump shooter, Zando. He's good, he's a good role player, good finisher, wants to give him that pass. But he needs to find a way to set himself up to have a good opportunity. Terrell going back to the free throw line. Just Pat, as a defender, what do you do to guard Winfrey? He showed he could score from outside. He's driving in so aggressively. What do you do? Do you take that step back and maybe dare him to shoot a little bit more? Do you play more up on him? You need to apply a little bit of pressure on a guy like Winfrey and trust the help behind you. The problem is there is no help for any of the defenders that are guarding Winfrey. Gatien bringing it back down. And you know... Pat, I think Hrazan is sorely missing Narva Ibrahimian today. A guy who, you know, he's strong enough. He has that strong base. The guy that would have been a perfect matchup for Winfrey today. Oh, def definitely, Zando, definitely. Narva Ibrahimian is not only a great defender, but he's a, a true basketball player where he's a role player. He plays defense, rebounds. He does, he creates opportunities for other guys. That's something they're missing right now. Besides Kudadi, no one's really being a playmaker right now. Terrell hits another three, lead back down to five. Kashishian off balance. Hrazdan on the break where they scored a majority of their points. Terrell right by Tarona's corner, Kudatian. Up top, Big Z pulls up. Short and inbounds, Winfrey with another rebound. Jair Winfrey with 13 rebounds already. Off on the three-pointer. Rebound in Jagulian. Terrell. Terrell hits again. Another big bucket. He's starting to feel it the second half, Zando. Terrell the teammates are the trusting him. And you know, that's dangerous. Kudatin firing on all cylinders with 21. Terrell now with 26 points for how poorly he shot in the first half. Kashishin <laughs> with the answer. And like I mentioned, you don't need to get a rebound or a steal to get out on the break. Full court pass, Hudatian leads to an easy layup. That's just inexcusable, Zando. The fact that he's able to outrun everybody and get back. You need a designated help at all times against him. And Kalejian almost gets stripped. Winfrey, counted and the foul. What a performance from Jair Winfrey, Zando. 32 points and 13 rebounds. And he's just doing it so efficiently. 10 of 15 from the floor, two of three on the, from the three point line. It's like there's a discussion now between the refs and the players. Yeah, it looks like it's interesting. I want to say they're talking about if the foul might have been on the floor. And Sanzid yelling at Longuri, get in. You know, with the FIBA rules, you have to have a certain amount of players within the lane. And Zara Avidian walking off, very frustrated at the lack of help he's receiving guarding Winfrey. Winfrey converts the and one. Jair Winfrey putting on an absolute masterclass performance. Hudatian, they're daring him to shoot. Decides to drive instead. Bogosian. To the corner, Terrell. That's out of bounds. And you know, someone who I think has got to get a little more involved is Andreas. Pelosi, only two shots today, and he just isn't as aggressive as he usually is. Zando, they're not really looking for him, and he's not really being vocal in demanding that ball. If you're a player like Andreas Pelosi, and you do well off execution. Right now, there's not much execution being done from Harazdan. Just one pass and one shoot. Terrell inside, banks it home. 
six point lead now for Aragots. Haraz Don still looking for their first lead of the game. Winfrey with it. Longurian covers. Winfrey finds Heronis in the corner. Six on the shot clock. Winfrey inside, off balance, no good. Longurian on the break, finds Belosian. And Belosian wide open. Short rebound for Terrell, and Terrell gets the and one. JT Terrell just. What a performance he's had, Zando. 30 points, eight rebounds. Struggled in the first half, but he's now picking up the second half. And a great job by Terrell, having a short-term memory. As Ted Lasso says, you gotta be a goldfish. Coming back in this second half and putting a stamp on the game. And it looks like Big Z's leaving, Pat. Yeah, I'm not sure why he's taking his clothes and leaving, but maybe he's got a different Game he has to go to, I'm not sure. Early curtain call for Big Z, he's out of here, and now Hurazan down to six players. Timeout, That'll be a timeout for Aragots, only up three now with 318 in the third quarter. We'll be right back. Go <laughs> <laughs> down! Just over three minutes to go here at Academy USA for the second game here. Final day of the regular season. Pat, there's a lot of must wins and we saw a team that had to win lose early on in that first game. You had the you were lucky enough to call it. What a game that was between the RMNs and Academy USA. Zando, that was a intense battle. Obviously both teams were missing some players, but what they had, that was just so fun. Academy USA fought hard, but at the end of the day, the, the talent of Warren Helliger was just too much for them. And the Armands continuing this undefeated season, now 6-0 heading into the playoffs. Aragots with the ball, it's Collegian, he's been hot. Five on the shot clock, Collegian drives, corner steps back. And Collegian hits again. Collegian what? is hot, hot, Another hot. tough shot by Sean Collegian, Zando. He's feeling it. And Hudati in the other way, he's gonna go to the free throw line. Sean Collegian doing a tremendous job. Just getting buckets. He's hitting shots when they need him the most. And that one was much needed too. It was a three point game, made it six. But Tevon Kudani right back at it, shooting two. And you know what, one thing for Kudati, and if he could expand that range, make himself a three point shooter, he'd be virtually unguardable. He's got that quick first step, you can't get, you gotta start backing up already. If he could hit from outside, it's like, how do I guard him? Do I play up on him? Do I back off? Just so many different elements that would add, be added to his game. Aragots with the ball now, it's Kashishian walking it up the floor. Kishishian inside, off. That's a little bit of a tough shot for Kishishian. And the other way, Terrell finds Hudatian and Hudatian reverse finish. What a find by Terrell and what even a better finish by Hudatian. For your collegian, you had to deny that. What a dominant backcourt. Collegian finds Kardosh. Winfrey can't control. Out of bounds, it'll go back to Hurazdan with a chance to tie the game. Zando, it seems right now Aragots is not executing the way they were in the first half. They're taking some tough shots, but you also gotta give credit to Hurazdan, playing pressure defense. They're not really allowing them to think. 
Terrell off the screen. Long. The rebound, Kasheshian. Kalejian snaking his way through the lane. Kalejian steps through and pass right to Sadikian. Hudatian the other way, might have been a travel and finishes the no dribble layup. The lack of communication there from Kalejian. If you were saying a screen, you have to cut to the basket. Nowadays, everybody wants to just pop for a shot. Tied game with just over a minute to go. Njigulian set up for a charge. Cardo finishes right through him. Too big for Njigulian. That was a nice bucket by Kardosh. Njigulian with Winfrey on his hip. He just caught the defense sleeping. That was a nice move by Samson. But that's poor defense by Aragats. One minute to go now in this third quarter. Winfrey with Longurian on him. Drives. And Winfrey can't finish. Kardosh, offensive rebound. He's going to go to the charity stripe. What a luxury, Zando, to have two big men that can rebound like that. Not only Winfrey is a great rebounder, but Anthony Kardosh. I was not too familiar with him, Zando, but a lot of people told me in Burbank he was one of the best rebounders. There he is making a free throw. Aragas back with the lead. You know, her husband's been fighting really hard. Found themselves down by double digits in the first half. They were down by 10 at one point in this quarter. And they've just stuck the course, stayed the course, done so well playing together. Terrell has found his stride in the second half as well as Kudatian continuing his hot start. And there's Terrell. Giving Haraz on their first lead of the game. Argos went to a 2-3 zone. At that time, JT Terrell making them pay. Kalejian with it. Kalejian short, rebound Longurian. And Haraz will have a chance at the last shot of the half. And Terrell, wide open. He makes them pay. Karazdan now up four, eight on the clock. Kashishian with it, double team was about to go his way. His teammate runs into him. Three seconds, Winfrey wide open under the basket. And the basket will count. Waiting for the signal, ref says it's good. And Harazdan, they were up by as much as 10, now down by two going into the final quarter of play. Harazdan with a great job executing and this must win. What a performance we've seen from JT Terrell. And now we go to Zandor Zamanian with head coach for Hrazdan, Ara Jajarian. Zando. Here with coach Ara Jajarian of Hrazdan, coach must win game. You guys are down by double figures, now up. What have you been telling your team? Keep shooting. Keep, stay on the stay on the track of what we're doing. Just play defense. Get out and run. There are five guys. We need to tire them out, and that's where the fourth quarter is. And we're going to keep tiring them out. JT Terrell didn't start so hot in the first half. Second half, finding his stride. What's been different for him? Just keep shooting. Uh, JT's a great shooter. It's just a matter of when he's going to get hot. So I just told him keep shooting, keep going, and keep running. That's our game. Thank you, Coach. That'll do it for this interview. But don't worry. Fourth quarter of action coming at you right now. Final 10 minutes of this crucial game for Hrazdan. Pat, they've flipped the script and taken a lead going into this final quarter. What is Aragas going to have to do in this one to get this W? Zando, they got to assemble. They got to get back on defense. In terms of half-court defense, they do a pretty good job. But you have to get back. Too many easy fast-break points. And fast-break nowadays results in a three-point shot. JT Terrell, 37 points, has been absolutely dominating 
Tevin Kudanian with 29 points. If you're Ari, guys, you gotta find a way to get back. Put a little more pressure. And for Aragas, Winfrey with 35, Kalejian with 20. Longurian on the follow-up, no good. Winfrey pulls down another rebound. Kalejian on the break, right at Injigulian. Kalejian can't finish. Winfrey with the rebound, and he just finishes through two or three Harazdan defenders. Oh, a tough bucket by Jair Winfrey. Longurian at the free throw line finds the ticket. He's off. We're all even at 86. Aragots with the ball. It's Collegian. Already with 20. Can't make it 22. Rebound by Hudatian. Hudatian through two defenders. Flick pass, and Longurian finishes the highlight play. You don't pressure a point guard with that kind of ball handling all the way on top, Zando. He's too experienced. He'll go by you every time. You have to be disciplined and get back on defense. And Pat, with that, Hudatin has 20, 29 points, 12 rebounds, and 7 assists, working on a triple-double. Tevon's been doing everything, Zando. He's just... He's given this team some fire. He always has. There's a reason why they're back-to-back -back champions. Winfrey with it. Looking to work on Longorian here. He finds Taronis. Taronis jacks one up. Short rebound in Jagulian. And Huraz now with a chance to get out to their biggest lead of the game. Hudatian finishes another layup. Give him 31 points on the game. That was a nice find by Samson. Noticing with this team now, this lineup that Horazan has, they're able to push the ball a little more. Winfrey, no good. Rebound by Terrell. Hudatin telling Terrell, take it yourself! And a charge called on JT Terrell. Great job by Terronis to put his body on the line. Terronis is so good at Gra grabbing that charge, Zando. You gotta appreciate him sacrificing his body. And you know, Pat, something I gotta point out, it seems like the fatigue is really starting to set in for Aragas with only five guys. Zando, at the end of the day, in any league you play, and playing with five guys is never easy. Especially in a game that is this long. It's tough. Collegian gets by Kudati in and he gets the and one, Sean Kalejian trying to will his team to victory right now. What a big bucket for Aragaz. They need that desperately. Kalejian right now, Hrazan doesn't really have anybody that can contain him, Zando. He's been a different defender trying to take turns at him. Hudatian hasn't had any, any luck. Terrell having a tough time against him too. Kalejian showing, I may be young, but I can get buckets. Hudatin Argot with stings. it now. And he drives. Tevon finds Zatikian. Zatikian. Sure, and Hudatin can't get the rebound. Zatikian can make that shot, Zando. He's hit it against us plenty of times <laughs> back when I used to play. It's just not falling for him. But as a shooter, you got to keep shooting that. Razan up one. And Kashishian gives Aragots the lead again. What a triple. A big bucket couldn't have come at a more crucial time. Terrell can't answer. Strips Kardosh and right into the lane, throws it down. S sloppy, sloppy by Anthony Kardosh. You have to take care of that ball. Don't let the guy take it from you. I think Terrell got a little mad on that last play after missing the shot, said, Kardosh, give me the ball back. Give me it back, and he just goes and throws it down. He's a competitor, Zando. He wants to win, and he'll do whatever it takes. Terrell with 39 points tonight, 15 of 31 shooting. All even at 92. Collegian gives his team a two-point lead. You know, Zando, it's a rare thing to see a guard blow by Tevon. 
Tevon's usually the one that blows by these guards. Very fast step, first step by Shant. Oregon still in that 2-3 zone. And no. Houdazi getting blocked by Taronis. Oregon's the other way, Winfrey with it. Nice Good old step. And the finish. What a sequence there. Great defense by Taronis and a great finish by Jair Winfrey. Terrell, free throw line pull up, off, gets his own rebound. And Terrell and one. Easy call and Terrell's looks shaken up. Looks like he's down, was grabbing at his head. Looked like he may have caught an elbow there, Zando. Back to his feet, walking it off. And you know, we saw earlier this season, Aragots, their player Trent Lucereri and cut an elbow to his face by his own teammate. Had to go to the hospital and get a few stitches. Uh, it's unfortunate, but you know, it's part of the game, Zando. We've all had our cuts and bruises and broken bones. It's just part of the game. Terrell now at 42 points. Warren Helliger, Robert Valentine was our leading scorer up into this point. Single game leading scorer with 45 points. JT Terrell looking for that record this season. Kardosh at one. You know, Kardosh has had a rough go today, but a really big basket there. I like that he's not settling for that shot. He's taking it in the paint. But if you're Samson, he, again, he had another opportunity to take a charge. He just didn't take it. Cardo short on the free throw, stays a three-point game. Terrell can't tie it up. Ball still alive. Bogosian ends up with it. And he finds Longurian. Longurian, a couple times today. Right place, right time. He's very good at that. He's good at his awareness on the court. He knows where he needs to be. And at that point, got an easy bucket. One point, Aragots lead. Kashishian, quick fire off the backboard. Not sure how I feel about that shot, Zando. Seems, seems a little forced. Bogosian with it. 15 on the shot clock. He drives, spins, pulls up. He'll be headed to the free throw line. Foul on Collegian. And this is the Andreas Bogosian I'm used to seeing. Aggressive, fearless, going right at the basket, going at any defender he sees. You know, Parazdan wants to try to re or be three-time champions. They're going to need more of that for him in the playoffs, if they make it. This has just been a crazy week, Zando. Every game counts. Even the game after this one is going to be huge. Game after this, Avon versus Artsakh. Chance at the number two seed, and also, you know, the loser could potentially be knocked out of the playoffs. Collegian with it. Collegian, knife's inside. No good. Kardosh doesn't finish. Harazan back up by one. Terrell down the lane. Left hand finishes. I expected the pass there, Zando, but, but good understanding and taking it for the easy layup. Shot or the scoreboard has gone out, so we're gonna have a short stoppage. Score is 101 to 98 in favor of Harazdan. Just under five minutes to go, Pat. This is another great one. This is anybody's game, Zando. It's as simple as that. This is anybody's game. Our God seems a little exhausted, having only five players the whole game. Harazdan had seven up until the second half after Zara Vidian had, uh, had to take off. But now you still have six, it's still not an easy game. So Pat, for Aragats, Winfrey was hot early on and it's been collegiate in the second half, shouldering the load. Who do you go to down the stretch? I will look for Winfrey in this one. I understand Collegian has been performing very well, but Jair Winfrey is your go-to scorer right now. He's been performing. And it ends up being Kashishian who takes the big shot. Ties us up at 101. What a luxury to have a shooter like that on your squad, Zando. Kishishian, big bucket. Hudatian cuts to Bogosian. 13 on the shot clock. Inside Injigulian. 
Pogosian with it. Got to get something going. Four on the shot clock. Hudatian off. Under four minutes now in the game. Kashishian. Ooh, gets around Terrell. Pulls up. He's headed to the free throw line. That's a tough move by Kishishian. Zando, another player, great Kishishian, who has made some great improvement as he's continued to play. We forget he's also a very young guy too. He's what, 24, 23 years old? And you know, one thing I always have to give to him, a guy who never played high school basketball and still plays at such a high level, such a competitor, he just plays so hard. He's a very athletic Zando. When he gets up on that shot, he jumps so high. He used to play soccer. I remember he used to be a very good soccer player. His dad was very much into soccer, but at some point he picked up basketball and he's he's just a hooper. He loves to play any chance he gets. Definitely a hooper. His brother Derek, also a great soccer player. And now it's Haraz done with the ball. JT Terrell hits the three. Terrell puts the lead back in Haraz Don's hands. What a performance from JT Terrell Zando. Just knocking them down this second half. Absolutely killing it. 47 points for Terrell, a new record this season. And Kashishian says, I'm going to answer right back with a tri triple of my own. What a battle we're seeing here. Bogosian, he can't hit his three. Aragat's up two now. Expect Kishishin to probably tr take this shot, Zanda, which he does. And, and he, he gets again. it! Greg Kashishian with two threes in a row. Collegian just boosting out with Kashishian right now. And two huge threes. Zando, he had a slow first half start, but man oh man, has he come up big now. Kishishin. Winfrey seems a little exhausted, but Kashishian is picking it up. Kashishian now with seven three pointers in this game. He's been struggling from behind the arc all season, but in the last game of the year, He's just playing how he usually plays, hitting from outside, and he's really made a big impact on this game. Now the key is Zando, who can get the first stop? Both teams are having a difficult time guarding each other. And Pat, you know, for Hrazdan, two guys, Terrell and Hudatian combining for 78 points, 78. That, that's incredible, Zando. However, I expect a little bit more from the role players of Hrazdan. Looking for maybe Andreas Bogosian to catch his stride. But what a performance we're seeing from these young guards, Zando. Putting on a show for us. It'll be Hrazdan's ball out of the timeout and they desperately need a basket. Inside, Hudatian swatted by Taronis. What a block by Taronis. That's his second block of the game. Now, other way, Kashishian. In and out, that one was a heat check. And on the shot clock, Kashishian long again. And Hurazan can't come up with the rebound. If you're Longorian, why do you tip that? You just grab that board. Legend inside. Hudatian fouls him, thought he had a block. That is a tough call, Zando. From here, it looked like the ref made the right call, but I understand Hudatian's perspective. That foul is the fifth one on Hurazdan in this quarter. Aragats will be in the bonus the rest of the way. Legend good on the first, making it a six point lead. Legend now with 26 points. Legend splits the pair and Kashishin with the offensive rebound and just smokes the easy shot. I'm not sure how I feel about that, Zando. If I was Kashishin, I would maybe try to stop the clock. And now Terrell puts himself at 50 and brings Haraz down within three. I'm sorry, but that's poor decision making by Kishishin. You had the rebound, you're up by six. Use up that clock. You do not want to give a guy like JT Terrell more time to work. 
And a backcourt violation. Oh, not a backcourt violation, but an eight-second violation on Aragots. And look, it just seems like a lot of unforced errors by Aragots down the stretch, Pat. Very, very sloppy, Zando. They're working so hard, and you're giving up some easy, easy turnovers. And Jagulian with it. To Longurian. Longurian drives baseline. To Terrell. Terrell for the tie. He's off. Still a minute and a half to go, and Aragots is going to burn a timeout. That's a good timeout by Aragots, by Coach BJ. You, you, everyone seems a little anxious. Toronto's pushing up the ball with no, no one else down there. Slow down, try to get a guaranteed bucket here. Uh, of course, we're coming down to the wire again. Hurazdan down three. It just seems like they're right there. They can't just, you know, get that last nudge over the hill. That comes with an experience, Ando. For a young team, you think you gotta go, go, go. No, that's not how it works. How it works is you try to be patient, use up the clock however way you can, take some good quality shots. And hopefully with this timeout, let's see what they can pull off. If you're Harazdan, you don't wanna give any ticky tack fouls. You've been doing a great job applying pressure just contain the shooters and box out Aragaz's big men. Ball into Kardosh. Kardosh. Guys, it's a Kashishin. Kashishin biting his jersey with the ball in his hands. Bolosian playing defense on Kalejian. Eight on the shot clock. Into, po into Winfrey. Winfrey. Bumps Longurian. One, one leg shot off. And Hurazdan with a chance to tie the game yet again. It looked like it looked like Winfrey had the, had the position for a while. I'm not sure why Kalejian didn't get it to him earlier. But good defense nonetheless. And for Hurazdan, you don't need to go for the three right now. You can just get a quick two, make it a one-point game. Longurian finds Injagulian. He's off. And Kalejian just outruns everyone but misses the layup. Terrell pulls up. Double clutch at one. Poor, poor decision-making by Aragats. JT Terrell, 53 points. That and one ties up the game, and he has a chance to give Haraz down the lead. That is, that is poor decision making. Great shot by JT Terrell, don't get me wrong. But that's not a good foul at all. And Pat, what a turn of events. Collegian had a wide open layup chance to make it a two score game. Instead, Terrell comes down, gets the and one three pointer. And now that four-point play gives Harazdan a one-point lead. Uh, that's, that happens, Zando. Easy layup. He missed. Hopefully he can get it back here. Kalejian finds Kardosh. And Harazdan continuing to dare Kardosh to shoot. He airballs. And look for Harazdan to use up this clock. And you got to get the ball in Terrell's hands right now. Ball does find its way into Terrell's hands. 10 20. on the shot clock. 20 seconds remain in the game. To Belosian. Belosian gets it to Terrell. Terrell loses it. And now Arcot's on the break. Winfrey, eight left in the game. Winfrey inside. Finishes and gives Aragots the lead. Jair Winfrey's 41st points of the game. What a basket. What a big, big bucket by Jair Winfrey. Giving them a one-point lead. Now, Zando, I think we have an idea where the ball is going to go. <laughs> but if you're Aragots, do you stay in that zone? Do you maybe go man-to-man? -man? Maybe change it up a little bit? I think you got to go man-to-man -man for this last possession. It just seems like Terrell is feasting on this zone. Every time finds the open spot. I mean, the former G League player, former USC Trojan, so savvy. Such a professional, understands the game so well, he knows the spot to get to. Oh, absolutely. But more importantly, Zando, his teammates know where to get him the ball. 
They understand that he's been hot for them. You gotta let the guys score, you gotta let them work. But if you're Aragots, the last thing you wanna do is give any ticky tack fouls. If he's gonna make a shot, let it be a tough shot over you. Aragots does have one foul to give with 4.6 left on the clock. Aragots slow to come out of the break. And here they come. It'll be Terrell triggering the inbound. And look for them to get the ball in and get it right back to Terrell. Into Injigulian. Terrell catches, gets it up. Terrell off, Hudasian. Oh! It go in. What a tough break for her, Azdan. That is so tough. Very unfortunate. Aragas wins this one, 112 to 111. We'll be right back with our player of the game interview. And Pat, I think we know who it is. Jair Winfrey, ladies and gentlemen. 41 points, 14 rebounds. What a performance we've seen from Jair Winfrey and from Aragats. And now we turn to Zando Arzamani with our player of the game, Jair Winfrey. Zando? Here with Aragats' player of the game, Jair Winfrey. Jair, you had 41 points. What was Hurazdan doing that allowed you to have this huge game? Um. They were passing the ball well. Uh, we were getting our people open off screens. Just the point guard was really moving the ball. He got me into it. I got to take my jumpers. I got to drive to the basket. You know, we played great as a team. Everyone played good. Everyone moved the ball well. It was like it was like Golden State Warriors basketball. It was great. Down. <laughs> Jire, you know, it's been a rough season for you guys at Aragos, but two wins to end the season. How does it feel to get on the better side of things? Man, it, it feels great, man. Uh, I just want to say thank you for the coach for picking me up, and I love it, and I'll be back next season to play with you guys. Thank you, Jire. That'll do it for Aragos this season, but don't worry. We've got one more game, and the number two seed is up for grabs. Our talk for uh, versus Avon coming at you next. Great game, man. Great game. 